फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स डू यू नो हाउ द एलिफेंट फुट याम बीन ग्रोन इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन ग्रोइंग एलिफेंट फुट याम इनटू योर फील्ड ऑर्गेनिकली और इनटू योर होम गार्डन इनटू द पॉट देन व्हाट आर द स्टेप यू नीड टू फॉलो टू ग्रो इट सक्सेसफुली सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट ग्रोइंग द एलिफेंट फुट याम इनटू योर फील्ड ऑर्गेनिकली to know in detail don't go away please stay connected to the video till the end let's start the video growing elephant foot yam organically is comparatively simple to the other crops because this crop is very robust crop and it doesn't have any pest and disease issue in its life cycle we only need to maintain a good soil condition for the good growth of the tuber we need to give enough manure at the start of the crop and give the good mulching and good watering for its healthy growth if require some weeding is to be done and that's all for this crop one specific advantage of growing elephant foot yam is that we can grow it into the semi shade condition without affecting the yield although the yield are better into the full sun condition but if we grow it into semi shade condition the yield is not going to affect majorly because of this characteristic of the elephant foot yam we can also grow them as a intercrop into the fruit orchard or into some other crop without affecting the yield so friends for growing elephant foot yam we use the previous season tuber for sowing when we sow that small tuber from the previous season it will grow into the season and give us the big tuber for the next season normally the elephant foot yam is multiply from its seeds the seeds are which is the extension on the big tubers like this small extension on the tubers and we should remove this tuber before sowing these are the small tuber which we call the seeds these are around 10 to 20 grams each for the size now from this seed and to become the full size the tuber it will take 3 to 4 season because the this seeds is 15 to 20 gram when we saw this seeds and remove after the season it will become around 60 to 80 grams of the tuber we need to sow that into next season again and we will get around this size of tuber from this it is around 200 gram then when we sow this tuber again for the next season we will get the tuber bigger into size around this this will be around 600 to 800 or 900 gram and from this tuber we will get the final tuber of 5 4 to 5 kg each in some cases when we saw the big tuber like 1.5 kg to 2 kg we can get the tuber around 8 to 10 kg also elephant foot yam normally grows 4 to 6 time every year smaller the tuber more will be the growth bigger the tuber less will be the growth but roughly if it is grown 5 to 6 time it is called a good growing for the tuber so elephant foot yam requires a hot and humid weather for its vegetative growth and it requires the cold weather and dry weather for its tuber development so we must saw this as soon as the temperature rises and moisture arrive into the atmosphere and we can harvest after the winter starts after a month or two we can harvest that normally into 6 or 7 months we can start getting the new tubers for the use for getting fully mature tuber we need to wait for the 9 months after 9 months we'll get the full size of the tuber from the crop so normally elephant foot yam must be sown between 20th april to 20th may for its best vegetative growth so we can maximize the vegetative growth and the whatever the vegetative growth is going to convert into the tuber for the next season elephant foot yam tuber must have the rest period of around 45 days to 60 days before it is transplanted again so we have prepared this nursery from the last year tuber and now it has been 2 months since we have put this into this position and you can see that new sprout is already started on this now at this stage 
we should keep only one sprout on this and remove any extra sprout coming out so that all the energy focus into the one plant and the, we can get the bigger of the tuber size from this. This nursery need to be treated with a special treatment from the cow dung. For that we have a cow dung, cow urine, some trichoderma, some honey and all these bacteria, NPK bacteria with all this we will make one solution and dip all this tuber into it and we will dry it into shared condition before sowing it into the soil. So we will treat this with that solution. Now as we have seen that the tuber of the elephant foot yam multiplies 4 to 6 times every year and it is best that we, if we put tuber size 500 to 800 gram it will multiply the maximum around 6 times. So it is good to sow for the commercial crop the tuber around 600 or 700 gram for the optimum yield. Now we have some tubers which are weighing more than 1.5 2 kg. So for that if you see this we have this tuber is around 1.5 kg. Now instead of sowing its whole what we will do we will split it in a way from the half so that you can see the eyes are sprouting on this. So we will keep one eye on each face. So we will split this tuber into this cutter. Now we can see that we have split it into two and this is one eye which is going to sprout and this is another eye which is going to sprout. You can see some of the small eyes over here that we are simply removing. So this is around 700 to 750 gram of tuber which we are going to use as a sewing. Now it's time to treat this tuber with the solution we have prepared from the cow dung manure. Now we are starting treating this seed with the solution which we have prepared. So for that we will pick up one by one tuber, we will dip it into this and put it separate in the same position for drying. So we are taking one more and treat this. We need to ensure that all the sides should be covered with this solution for good treatment. Now we will dry it for 4 to 6 hours in this shade and then we will take it for the planting. This way we will complete all our treatment for the tubers. Watch the video till the end and if you find this video interesting and useful then give me a like. Also share it with the like minded people. Express your view in a comment box and feel free to give any suggestions to improve. Let's watch the video. Don't forget to subscribe. This is the field where we are going to plant our elephant foot yam this year. This is the coconut tree garden and we are going to plant elephant foot yam as an intercrop. We have prepared the field by removing the old crop and cultivate the field with the help of mini tiller. We have cultivated this field twice and before cultivating we have added around 2 kg per square meter a cow dung manure. We are also going to add around 200 gram of ash into this field for the crop. Now it's a time for preparing for the sowing. We are going to plant at distance 4 foot row to row and 2 foot plant to plant for the big size of the elephant foot yam seed which is around 750 gram to 1 kg and the for smaller seeds around 200 to 400 gram tuber we are going to plant in a double row method at the 4 foot center distance and we will make the two rows and there we will keep a plant to plant distance around 1 to 1.5 foot. So we are going to grow elephant foot yam into the raised beds but before making the raised beds we are digging the pit at every 2 feet distance. So we will saw the seeds into that and then make the raised bed so that the sufficient soil will be covered on the tuber. For that we have made one measurement stick. We are measuring this 
every pit and we are making the pit for the size of the tuber then we will saw it and cover it with the soil and raise the bed equal to the double the depth of the tuber for smaller tuber we will directly make the pit and saw it i will show you in the further part of the video how to show that tuber into this pit so now you can see that we have made all the pits for sowing that elephant foot yam tubers now we will start the sowing of the tuber so we have this tuber which we have already sprouted in the nursery and now we are placing these tubers one by one into this pits while putting it into the pit we need to ensure that the sprout portion or the pointed portion should be remain in the vertical up position so the new sprout will come very easily out so after that we need to cover it with the soil at that we need to put the enough soil on this tuber so that its point should not get damaged while we are raising the bed once all the tuber will so then we will raise the bed on the line and we are going to create a bed over the tuber line once the plantation is completed now we are raising the bed with the help of the soil which we have already cultivated so all the fertilizer and the manure will go into the bed on the top at the raising the bed we need to ensure that we should raise the bed at least twice the thickness of the tuber so that tuber will get the good area for the growth so now you can see that our sowing of the elephant foot yam is over and we have raised the soil to this bed and now beds are prepared you can see that height of the bed is quite 8 to 9 inch and this is required for good development of the tuber after this completion we have run two lines of drip on each bed so as the elephant foot yam get the enough of water it requires a lot of water for its vegetative stage and we are ensuring that it will get good amount of water so once we complete this then we need to cover it with the dry and wet leaf paste so this is the mulching what we are doing of the dry leaf paste and other paste you can see that we have mulched it all the beds thoroughly at we need to mulch at least 2 to 3 inch in the first time then we'll do the second mulching after weeding after 1 or 1 and 1/2 month so this is how we need to complete our sowing of the elephant foot yam after this completion we need to ensure the right watering cycle for the tubers initial stage it requires a lot of water when it is in vegetative stage so we'll give the water twice or thrice a week with this drip line 4 to 5 hours a week later on at the time of development of the tuber will restrict water to somewhat like 2 to 3 times a week 2 or 3 hours that's enough for the tuber development so this is how you can so organic tuber elephant foot yam very easily with a very good yield potential thank you